Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing a juice reading. And in this reading, I'm gonna be looking at you, your person, and the energy between you and your person. I'm gonna also be doing ask a question, get an answer at the end of the reading. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to stay until the end so you can ask a question and get an answer. Of course, it's gonna be a yes or no answer to your question. So if that's something you're interested in, it is completely free, it doesn't cost any money to answer um, to ask a question and get an answer you can either type your question in the live or you can say it out loud um, whatever you're comfortable with in the end for the ask a question get an answer okay so before I get started I am gonna say a few announcements now the first thing I want to mention is I am drinking water okay um, crystal clear water with some ice here if you are interested in sharing what you're drinking do comment it um, below tell us the recipe or tell us whatever it is that you're drinking where are you what are you doing uh let us know what we should be drinking maybe recommend something to us if you'd like uh, i'm drinking cl crystal clear water i don't have anything in my water today because i want the message to be crystal clear and that's my go-to right now so yeah so let us know what you are having down below in the comment section or in the live feed okay now the first announcement i want to make is is about instagram now i know a lot of you have been contacting me about scammers i've already mentioned it many times that i don't offer personal readings if someone contacts you on my behalf pretending to be me it's obviously not me it is someone who is pretending to be me i am in the process right now of taking certain actions that are necessary to deal with these people so if you are somebody who is scamming or you are somebody who is experiencing someone scamming um, on my behalf do ignore it do not engage do not give your money to any of these people if you are interested in purchasing bracelets such as this one on my website okay or the um, moon pendant necklace here that I'm wearing that will be linked below in the description box on my store monicalouve.ca if it's not on my store monicalouve.ca then it's not me if somebody contacts you saying to send money to paypal for a personal reading that's not me i don't have time right now to do personal readings okay i'm very busy i have you know my business stuff to run i have my family that i'm you know um spending a lot of time with and then i'm also trying to enjoy my summer and also keep up with the channel so i don't unfortunately have time to do personal readings for you i wish i could but unfortunately i don't if i do decide to do personal readings you will hear it from me from my mouth here okay um, on my channel or in the community section, but nine times out of 10, I am not gonna be offering personal readings just because I don't have the capacity uh, to do them right now, okay? So uh, if somebody's following you on Instagram, I don't follow anyone on Instagram. I have, I think, two or three people that I follow just to, to have some people that I'm following, but I don't go out of my way to, um, to follow people unfortunately okay so that is the first announcement that i want to make buyer beware if you want to purchase uh, a personal reading from someone on instagram pretending to be me that is your decision but i highly 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 recommend that you don't okay so that's the first announcement the second announcement is um about what if you're interested in following me on instagram for um courses that i'm going to be coming out with very soon i know i've been saying that forever i am in the process of working on it it is a process um so yeah if you're interested in that you can follow me on instagram link is going to be in the description box follow me on instagram i like to share my makeup i like to share my clothes i like to just post you know pictures of myself on there like everybody else does i am a normal human being like everyone else so I like to have fun so if that's something you're interested in and you want to be a part of my journey then you can find the link in the description box for that okay now the final uh message that I want to make is that we are going to be having a sale this week in the store only so if you're interested in again you know um bracelets spiritual bracelets um you know pendants rings interested in uh small tarot decks i offer small mini tarot decks if that's your something you're interested in link will be in the description box below okay so let's jump into the reading i don't want to waste time 
um, too long on the announcements. So the um, first thing I'm going to do in the reading is I'm going to be pulling an oracle card and I was called um, in this reading to talk about love messages. Okay, so the love oracle, I'm going to be pulling one card for you from your person and one card from your person to you. Now keep in mind this reading is general. Like I said before, it's not going to resonate from point A to point B for you. Okay, there will be certain messages in the reading that you may say, aha, that makes sense. You know, that that message is for me. Take that message, leave the rest if the other pieces do not resonate with you. The other thing is a lot of people ask, who is this reading for? Doesn't matter. You could be, you could be any sign. Okay, this is a timeless reading. So when you come on this reading, that is the time that you should be watching the reading. Okay, so please, please keep a very open mind during these readings so that you can absorb and take in all the important messages that you need to hear. Okay, so let's start off the reading with an Oracle message. I'm going to pull one from you and one from your person, okay? I'm gonna read them. Now, if you don't have a person at this time, this could be somebody, a soulmate that you've never met. It could be someone from a past life. It could be somebody you're dating now. Take it as it resonates, okay? So your person, what do they wanna say to you? We have, here's a message from your person and it says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads, okay? So your person is telling you it's time to let go, it's time to really just go with the flow with life. Uh, stop trying to control life, stop trying to think that you know everything, because you don't. That's what your person's saying. They're saying go with the flow. Go with the flow and trust life's you know changes that are coming in for you. Now, what do you wanna say to your person? We have secret admirer, okay? And it says someone has deeper feelings for you than you are letting on. A lot of you are really, um, you're really emotionally, spiritually, and physically attracted to somebody. I don't feel like you've told this person this. I think a lot of you maybe have somebody on your mind that you're interested in. I'm really getting a single vibe here, okay? So for those of you I'm reading for, I would say majority of you are single. I would say up to almost 45% of you watching this are single. For others of you, this could be somebody that you haven't seen for quite some time and you still have some sort of attraction towards them, okay? I'm also getting that there's a very important message if you are single that a lot of you need to let go okay a lot of you um there's this energy here of you know a lot of you are saying well why can't i meet the one why haven't i met them yet what's going on why am i still single this and that a lot of you are too you're 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 trying to manifest, okay? But the way in which you're manifesting, you're holding on to the idea. Once you manifest something, you think about it and you let it go. You don't keep looking at it. It's not like a seed, okay? A lot of people think that they plant something and it's gonna grow. If you keep watching it, okay, it's like a, a pot you put on the fire. You put the, you know, you put the fire on and you wait. You don't keep looking to see if the water has boiled. You just you wait and then it happens, okay? So there's something here about you needing to accept some sort of changes that are coming into your life. We're gonna clarify this in a moment and we're gonna see what this means. So let's get into your reading and um, let's see what energy is going on between you and your person. Tell me more about the collective and their person. Okay, so your energy, we have the Knight of Swords, okay? For those of you who are watching, you could be an air sign, Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. Tell me more about the collective's person at this time. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So for many of you, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm really getting that a lot of you see someone here that you're really, really interested in, okay? The energy between you and your person is the Eight of Cups, and we also have the Judgment, and we also have the Queen of Pentacles. Something's telling me here that some of you had someone um, walk away from you, okay? Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or a Scorpio here. I feel like there was definitely a disconnect between you and this person, but a lot of you still have 
have some sort of deep connection to this person, okay? You're really connected to this person, wanting to move towards this person very quickly. And this person has a lot of energy, you know, in terms of long-term. When you see this person, when you connect to them, you see them as someone that you wanna have something long-term with. Now, before I get into this and do some more clarification, because we are gonna get into a clarifying for you and your person, I just want to see what the message is here in terms of this message, okay? There's something here in your life that you need to allow to flow. And a lot of you are not doing that right now, okay? Your energy is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is a very... I have to say this, it's a very dramatic energy. It's like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's do this, let's do that. But a lot of you need to kind of take things slow here and not rush into something. You need to allow something here to flow. And when you allow something to flow into your life the way it needs to, there's not going to be any stress. A lot of you have been under some sort of stress here maybe is what it's telling me, okay? What your person's trying to tell you. So let's um, do some clarification. Tell me more about this important message for the collective. Okay, so for many of you, um, wow, there's, there's a very strong connection here that you have with someone. Could be another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So a lot of you have this secret admirer on your mind, this person that you really, really like, okay? You're really attracted to this person. Um, you see this person you see this person as someone that you want to be with. Here's what the issue is, okay? A lot of you see this person, you're like, yeah, this is the, you know, this is the perfect person I want to be with. I want to marry them. I want to this, I want to that, whatever. This is going to be really important, Collective, because how you approach this person is going to determine whether or not you and them can actually have a future together. You have the Two of Swords here, which is in between you and this person. So what is actually causing things not to flow the way that you want it to flow is because of some sort of resistance that you may be causing. So it's very important that before you take action towards this person, you are really looking at your actions. Forget about what this person's doing. Forget about analyzing what they're doing. Okay, you can have anyone that you want, anyone that you want, anyone that you want to attract to you, you can have them. But a lot of you right now need to really determine how you are going to uh, move towards this person. What type of person are you? Are you a person who constantly chases and runs after people? Or are you somebody who sits patiently and waits for whatever it is that you've manifested? So a lot of you right need, a lot of you right now, excuse me, need to recognize that in your life, there's going to be shifts constantly. There's going to be things changing. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs. But the more you become resistant towards these changes, the more this energy is pulled away from you. I hope this makes sense the way I'm, I'm telling you, okay? Because right now you have someone here that you really like. You see this person as being with you long term, okay? Let's see what the important message is here for your person. Tell me more about the important message for the collective's person. Okay, so your person's energy here, seven of pentacles, you have the hangman and the four of pentacles. By the way, whoever this person is could be a Pisces. I'm also getting um, an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This person hasn't completely let go of you. This is somebody who's still going to hold on to this. They still want this with you. But I think that the reason why a lot of you are maybe finding some sort of resistance towards this person is because they're neat, they're needed to be some sort of break between you and them okay so either you've walked away from this or this person's walked away or you both have kind of taken a break and what is actually happening during this break um where you and this person are not talking a lot of realizations are happening a lot of um determination determining the value okay the queen of pentacles is all about the value and you see how she's looking at that pentacle you know determining what the value is here so there's needed to be some sort of break between you and this person you both still love each other is what i'm seeing here but a break needed to happen in order to determine the value that you both you know, need to see in one another. Okay. So we're going to get into spy on your person in a minute. I'm going to pull a couple of cards to see what this person is doing in the background. Um, but first I want to pull some love cards here, some romance angel cards to see what do you need to know at this time when it comes to this connection with you and this person? What do you need to know? 
what do you need to know? You have engagement. So this person, like I said, I think I mentioned you want to marry this person or engage with them and look that the engagement card came out. So the message here for you is your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So things are going to be moving into a very positive direction with you and this person. I see you engaging, but it's all about how you approach this person. If you are the type of person collective, you get dramatic, you get crazy. You know, you always want to rush and do things. You always want to take control. There's something here about you needing to sit back and allowing life to happen and not always feeling like you have control. A lot of you always want to control. And the more you control and the more you control, you control, the more you sabotage potentially this engagement. Okay. So that's a very important message for you. Let's see what the important message is for you and your person. We have let your friends help you. Okay. So for many of you, you're dealing with somebody who is going to their friends and asking for advice from their friends. They're not sure exactly how to move towards you or how to, um, get this connection off the ground. For some of you, you haven't even told this person that you like them. They don't even know. Okay. Some of you are going to be meeting this person through friends, or you may have a mutual friend where you and this person connect in that type of way. And you have free yourself in reverse. A lot of you are freeing yourself from a connection or a relationship that hasn't been working out for you. And I see you finally deciding to move forward possibly with this person. So let's do some clarification and let's see why, um, why did this person disconnect? What happened between you and this person? What is currently happening? Let's see. Okay, so the Eight of Cups, the Judgment, and the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Lovers. A lot of you are dealing with somebody who needed to disconnect from someone, okay? This is someone that they were very much connected to. Now take it as it resonates. It could be you or your person. But somebody here had a lot of options. Somebody here had a lot of options and they needed to walk away and determine which one of these options would be best suited. I'm seeing an earth sign here, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I'm also seeing um, Gemini very strongly here. Okay, so wherever you fit in the story, someone here had to emotionally disconnect from the other person to make a decision between two people. Okay. Now the person I see this person choosing is going to be somebody that they're very much in love with and someone that they very much value. Okay. Because this person, whoever this person is that you're inquiring about, this is someone who wants something long-term. There's somebody who wants to hold on to this situation for a long period of time. You have the seven of cups and the seven of pentacles here. So this person is at this point where they want to come out of this illusion. They want to come out of this place of not knowing what it is that they want for themselves and choosing the person that they really want to be with. But this person doesn't want to be with somebody who constantly feels like they always know everything. They constantly have to be in control. They want to be with somebody who goes with the flow. Okay, there's something here about you needing to learn how to go with the flow. And that's not easy for you collective because oftentimes, especially if you're an air sign, you constantly want to be in control. And that's something that spirit is asking you to kind of, you know, um, work on at this time okay so let's talk about what is happening behind the scenes okay if you are separated from your person and you're not with them let's see what's going on behind the scenes tell me more about what's going on behind the scenes for the collective and their person spying on your person what's going on Yeah, there's definitely um, whoever you're dealing with. Okay, this is not for everyone, but for some of you, this person is hiding the fact that there's two people involved here. Fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, so somebody here isn't telling the truth. They are hiding right now. They are trying to figure out who is going to be the person that they choose. So a lot of you are dealing with someone here that you really like this person. You really want to be with them, but they can't have both here. There's definitely going to be a reconciliation. So somebody here from the past that you haven't talked 
talked to in a while. I see you reconciling with them, but there's a lot of healing that has to take place. So when this person does come back around and I do see them coming back around after they decide to disconnect from someone they no longer want to be with, there's something here that needs to be healed between you and this person. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing in terms of what is going on behind the scenes. Now I'm going to get into, um, how this person feels about you. Okay. I'm going to be pulling a card for each sign, which I'm going to reveal in the extended reading. And in the extended reading, I'm going to also reveal the astrology. Now I haven't brought my astrology cards here. So this reading is going to actually be a lot more short than it usually is. Um, so if you're interested in knowing the astrology, the astrological aspects that are happening right now between you and your person, that will be linked below. And we will talk about that in the extended reading. So tell me about how this person feels about the collective. How does this person feel about the collective? Okay. So Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So how does this person feel about you? We have purpose and it says, I know what I'm here to do. A lot of you are feeling a very strong connection or attraction to this person because you know, you and them have a specific purpose. And what's really interesting here that I pulled today for you is life purpose. We're going to be seeing what the life purpose is for you and this person. Now, if this person is your twin flame soulmate, and that's what you feel, the first thing that you're going to feel is you're going to feel at home with this person you're gonna feel like wow I feel like I'm at home I feel safe I feel comfortable with this person okay so we're gonna be looking at that before I take it over to the extended now we're gonna get into what you're manifesting what is it that you're manifesting at this time and then we're gonna get into ask a question get an answer so what is it that you're manifesting at this time tell me more about the collective what are they manifesting at this time Stop right there. You have prosperity. Wow. Okay. Prosperity. And it says a prosperous business with riches and success. So a lot of you right now are going to be focusing on creating your own business. You're going to be manifesting this. And a lot of you also, I have to say this, this person that you really like that maybe you haven't quite gotten things off the ground with for some of you you have for others of you you haven't this person is going to reveal to you how you can start this business they may even help you um in your uh, your your purpose and your process moving forward okay so let's get into ask a question get an answer i'm going to keep the reading really short today i will be um pulling a lot of bonuses and stuff in the extended reading so if you are not satisfied with ask a question get an answer here you can always get more ask a questions get an answer in the extended where I'll pull six cards instead of three okay so in this reading um with the ask a question get an answer you can ask any question as long as it's a yes or no response so if you're asking a question like when is my person going to text me when is my person going to knock at my door you know when am I going to win a million dollars no has to be a yes or no answer okay so uh, i'll give you some time to come up with your questions be sure to comment your question in the live feed um, which actually puts it out into the ethers as well too if you're not comfortable writing your questions in the comments or in the live chat you can say them out loud okay all right so ask a question get an answer ask a question get an answer okay ask a question, get an answer, ask a question, get an answer, ask a question, get an answer. Okay. So first question, ask a question, get an answer and you have choose a new direction. So I feel like this is a no. I feel like right now, um, there's something new that you need to be choosing. There's a new direction, new person, new situation in your life that you need to be choosing right now. So the old is not an option is what spirit is saying. It's time to take steps into a new direction. Okay. So ask a question, get an answer. You have improving health. This is a yes. If you focus on your health, if you focus on eating right, if you focus on being healthy and harnessing that energy within yourself, it's going to start with you being healthy 
in order to have this come true. And I feel like this is a yes for you. Final question, ask a question, get an answer. You have abundance. I feel like this is a yes. There's definitely a situation in your life when it comes to this question where it is abundant. It's definitely a yes. There's a lot of opportunities in this situation if you can see the opportunities for what they are, okay? So this is what I have for you. In the extended reading, I'm gonna be pulling these cards for each sign. We're gonna go sign by sign. I highly recommend you checking your sun, your moon, and you're rising. I'm going to also be seeing what is being activated within you and your person spiritually at this time. I'm going to also be pulling more manifestation, making magic cards to see what is it that you are manifesting? What other things are you manifesting at this time? We're going to also be looking at how you feel about this person, how they feel about you, the actions you both are going to take um, towards one another. How are you both looking or viewing one another at this time? I'm going to also be pulling the astrological aspects, planets that are affecting your love life between you and this person right now. And most importantly, I'm going to also be pulling life purpose. What is your life purpose with this person? If you and this person are able to overcome the tests and trials and tribulations that you may be experiencing right now in the physical plane, what is the potential outcome for you and this person? And most importantly, what are you going to achieve? Okay. So so I'm going to also be pulling in an outcome as well too uh, in the extended reading. How does this person feel and what do they want to say to you moving forward? I want to thank everyone so much for tuning into the reading. Make sure you hit the like button on the way out. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one.